Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101, and happy Thanksgiving. If you guys are in the US, today is Thanksgiving Day, and I figured this video would be really appropriate for me to upload today because we're gonna be doing a lot of life updates. It's gonna be a really casual video, nothing super formal, nothing super fancy. As you can tell, I'm wearing this like teddy bear sweater, which is literally the softest thing I think I've ever put on my body. I will link it below for you. I think I wanna get it in like three other colors because it is just so freaking cozy. I'm also not wearing any eye makeup, which is weird because I normally do like full, full face. We're cash, we're just gonna talk today. We're just gonna catch up. I'm gonna tell you about my life. I'm gonna give you guys work updates, Ronnie updates, boyfriend updates, and it's a Q and A. You guys actually ask these questions on my Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram and you're interested in participating in these Q and A videos in the future, make sure you jump over to my Instagram, follow me there. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm gonna go ahead and flash the question, like screenshot of the question here on the screen so I don't have to butcher your guys's usernames because I tend to do that a lot. Let's do the first big update. Ronnie. What is going on with Ronnie? So many of you guys asked questions about Ronnie. If you guys aren't aware, I do have my own makeup line called Ronnie Cosmetics. We've launched lipsticks as well as liquid lipsticks. Just want to throw this in as a PSA. If you guys have not ordered your lipsticks and liquid lipsticks and have been holding off, we are running a Black Friday through Cyber Monday sale, which is 30% off the entire website with the code THANKFUL. I'll write it right here on the screen. All the info will also be down below, but the sale starts today, Thursday. Absolutely no exclusions. We do have a bundle sets available that are already discounted. You will get 30% off of the discounted price. So that's kind of a steal. Again, if you guys haven't tried my lipsticks or liquid lipsticks, now would be the time. And if you guys are watching this video the day or the day after it goes up, we're gonna be doing something a little extra special. If you guys place your order today on Thanksgiving day, the 22nd, or tomorrow on Black Friday, the 23rd, not only will you guys get your 30% off with the discount code, but we will also throw in an additional free lip product with every single order. No code needed. It's not gonna show up in your shopping basket. We're just gonna put it in every single order that we ship out on Thursday and Friday. The 30% off sale will run all the way through Cyber Monday. However, if you wanna jump on it quickly, jump on it today or tomorrow at the very latest, you'll get your 30% off and an additional lip product in every order. This is the perfect time for gifting. If you guys already have and love my lipsticks and wanna gift them to friends and family. In terms of the actual company, because I've just been getting so many questions asking how things are going, if we're working on new product, if we're gonna have a holiday collection. No specific holiday collection this year. The timelines just did not work out for me. There's definitely been some growing pains with this company. And throughout this process, I have just realized how how much of a control freak and how much of a perfectionist I am almost to a fault and I know that sounds almost like a cop-out you know it sounds like when you go into a job interview and they ask what's your biggest weakness and you're like oh I'm too much of a perfectionist through this process I've just realized all the formulas I've been testing all the products I'm trying to launch all the colors all the quality control everything I feel like I have to be so hands-on because at the end of the day this is my baby this is my company like I don't have a huge team backing me up I don't have a ton of media press I'm not a big brand by any means and I know every product that I do launch needs to be perfect it needs to be done perfectly so where I'm getting with all of this is that I have been working on so many different formulas on the back end a lot of my real life friends know and they've tested so many of my different formulas I've worked on new lip formulas face formulas highlighters blushes eyeshadows cream eyeshadows powder eyeshadows liquid eyeshadows but the things that I move forward with and the things that I want to ultimately launch in my opinion, just have to be the best of the best. Pro to that is that if you guys trust me, which I really, really hope you do, then you shouldn't have an issue purchasing any of the products that Ronnie comes out with. Because ultimately, I put it through the most rigorous amount of testing. It's insane. I'm doing my very best. To a fault, because it does push us back. It makes it harder for us to launch consistent products and to stick to timelines because I am just so freaking picky. But 
I will say we are launching new products soon. It won't be in this year, but it's going to be very, very early in 2019. And if you want a sneak peek of the next product we're launching, jump over to the Rani Cosmetics website. Like I said, I'll link it below and sign up for our newsletter because in a couple days, I'm going to send out a newsletter sneak peeking our new product. The newsletter subscribers are going to see it first. It's not going to be promoted anywhere on my channel until it's much closer to launch. So I hope that answered a lot of your guys' questions regarding Rani. I know you guys want to see new product and I really, really want to launch new products, but I want to launch products that I'm excited for and that I think you guys will get excited for. So hold on to your hats for like another month and a half and I promise you there is going to be something that will hopefully knock your socks off. Okay, so with all of that being said, let's move away from uh, Ronnie topics. What are my thoughts on the recent drama in the beauty community? I'm gonna be totally honest with you guys. I don't watch channels that get involved in drama. I just don't. So I really don't watch many of the larger beauty people. And the main reason for that is because I personally love watching people that feel very real to me. I know how I got started on YouTube and that is how 99.9% .9 of people got started on YouTube. We had a webcam or a really, really bad digital camera. We sat in our bedroom or our closet or our living room and just started talking about makeup. But I'll be totally honest, drama is not most of the community. If you stop watching those large channels and just stick to more down to earth people, maybe slightly smaller channels, you'll be drama free. And that's the way I have lived my life for the past few months. Okay, I really, really like this question. How do I feel about YouTubers making as much and realistically more than people in other professions? Honestly, it doesn't bother me. It never has bothered me because that's just kind of the way the world works. Gaining enough of a following on YouTube to actually make this a full-time thing and then even more so to actually live a very elaborate lifestyle because of YouTube, it's very rare. It's like one in a million, you know, it's like a risk versus reward. Going the more maybe classic route of like doctor, engineer, lawyer, you're more guaranteed to have a decent salary coming in. Whereas if you decide to do YouTube, you're going to struggle for a bit until you make it to the top, which you may or may not. So yeah, it doesn't bother me. It really never has bothered me. It's just, again, it's the way the world works. But I like the second part of the question even more. Do you find that many people in the YouTube world are out of touch with the realities of others? Some of them are. The people I personally like to watch are down to earth. So for me, I don't see a lot of out of touchness in them. I really do see more of a just humble down to earth personality. And those are the people I personally watch. Inevitably, we've got a couple questions about my love life, dating life. Do I have a boyfriend? How did we meet? How long have we been dating? This is going to slowly tie into a future video concept that I think I'm going to start doing. I think I'm going to start vlogging a little bit more. More meaning I think I'm just going to start vlogging because I don't do vlogs on my channel. And yes, I do have a boyfriend and we do have plans to maybe do some fun stuff around the holiday time. I thought maybe it would be fun to sort of introduce you guys to more members of my family, more people in my personal life. So let me know if that is something you guys would be interested in. I definitely won't be doing vlogmas, like a vlog every day. That's a lot of work. And I also do not have a very exciting day-to-day -day life but I might be able to do like a weekly vlog where I sort of vlog bits and pieces of my day here and there and then kind of round it all up in a one week vlog yes I can include my boyfriend in it and yeah if you guys want to ask me and my boyfriend questions we can definitely answer them I figured I'll save the how did we meet how long have we been dating those types of questions for when he's here with me I think it'd just be more fun for us to answer that together but yeah let me know this is such a fun nostalgic question the first makeup release I got really excited about. One of the biggest collections that I remember launching back when I was first getting into makeup and back when I really, really, really had a thing for MAC. I remember when this collection announced and I just remember it being one of the biggest collections I'd ever seen. I saved up money. I saved up my money for months, months to buy these products. It was the MAC 
Venomous Villains collection. If you guys were on the makeup scene back then, that was one of the very first makeup or like big brand makeup and Disney collaborations. It was basically four collections that were each centered around a single Disney villain and it all came together into this one giant collection that they called Venomous Villains. I bought so much stuff from that collection. Most of which I still have in my collection, most of which I don't use anymore, all of which I don't use anymore because it's old, but I don't see myself ever getting rid of it because that was one of the first collections that I was so excited about. Okay, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and end on this question because I think it's a good question and it did get a good number of likes. Have you ever experienced any effects of colorism in your life? For example, have you ever felt like you weren't comfortable with the color of your skin or faced any discrimination for your skin color? So let's answer that part of the question first and then I'll answer the second part. I grew up in California, which overall on the whole is a really diverse state. There are people of every single skin color in California, which I am super, super thankful that I grew up around that. I never once felt out of place because of my skin color. And now that I'm older and, you know, I've met so many more people, I've met people from other states, other areas, other places, I realized that's not a very common thing. Sometimes when you live in a really diverse area, you're kind of in this little bubble. Unfortunately, or maybe fortunately for me, but maybe unfortunately, because I can't give a real life account on this, I've never experienced anything like that. I've never been put in a situation where I felt uncomfortable with the color of my skin, or I was told something about the color of my skin. I mean, I wish I could relate more, but at the same time, I mean, I'm glad I didn't have to go through anything like that. And it honestly makes me sad that that's still an issue. The second part of this question says, have you ever felt the effects of people telling you to make your skin lighter considering light skin is favored in Indian communities? Growing up, I remember my grandmother used to use a face cream that I'm sure is still around now, fair and lovely. And I'm pretty sure that's a bleaching cream. Um, it's, you know, a, a cream that keeps your skin fair and lovely. Isn't it unfortunate that we have to associate lovely with the word fair. And unfortunately with things like that, that's just the way that you interpret things. Because ultimately, I mean, no one can stop you from going out in the sun and getting tanned. No one can make you put on bleaching cream or put on a lighter colored foundation to make yourself look lighter. Those are all things that you would have to do for yourself. As long as you don't let that attitude or that mentality phase you or affect you or affect your life or affect your choices or affect your decisions, then it really doesn't matter, right? Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna wrap it up here. I've been talking for forever. Don't forget to place your order for the Ronnie Cosmetics Black Friday Cyber Monday sale as soon as you possibly can. Cause if you get your order in today or tomorrow, you will get a free lip product as well as 30% off the entire website. The sale runs through Cyber Monday. I will put all the info, the coupon code, the exact dates, and the link to the website down below. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing Thanksgiving with your friends or family, and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday. I'll see you then. Bye.